What's going on everyone? This is Luke from South Beach Sports and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to break down some of Bam Adebayo's highlights from the Miami Heat's 135-97 to demolition over the Milwaukee Bucks. Adebayo was being guarded by Giannis Antetokounmpo most of the game, so this provided Bam with a very difficult test, and given Bam's 20 point and 13 rebound performance, he definitely passed. Like always, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on that post notification bell so you do not miss a single video. Also, go ahead and comment down below your thoughts on Bam Adebayo's performance and the overall performance of the Miami Heat as a whole because they played amazing last night. This first clip starts off with the Bucks attempting to run a back screen into a Giannis lob. This play works for the Bucks in that they were able to create a switch having Giannis on Kyle Lowry, but Kyle Lowry does a great job of ripping the ball loose. Bam Adebayo catches it, and we see the improvements that he's made over the offseason. I've been calling Bam to be more aggressive uh, in transition on fast breaks. Just given his 6'9", 255-pound stature, he does that here. He recognizes that he has the much smaller and less strong Pat Connaughton on him, and he goes right at him. This isn't a foul at all. Connaughton flops, and Bam scores the easy layup. A fundamental concept of the Heat's offense last season was a dribble handoff from Bam Adebayo to Duncan Robinson, and that's what it appears the Heat are going to run here. Giannis recognizes this and anticipates the handoff, but while doing this, he gives up the wide open driving lane to Adebayo. Adebayo attacks this driving lane, and because PJ Tucker is such a threat in the corner, Grayson Allen is very late in his weak side recovery, and Bam has the wide open uncontested layup. Here we see our first example of the night of Bam Adebayo's growth as a jump shooter. Credit to Chris Middleton who does a great job of cutting off Adebayo's initial driving lane. Adebayo passes back out to Lowry and then calls for the ball again. He faces up Giannis and then hits him with what has become his almost signature move, a jab, pump fake jab into, the, into his jump shot and Bam was hitting uh, these mid-range shots all night long. Here we see another example of Bam Adebayo's growth as a transition player. Hero gets the rebound, kicks it out to Bam, and Bam splits the defense and then finishes at the basket for an and one layup. I also want to point out the incredible ball control by Bam on the play. He loses the ball while getting fouled, he then regains possession of the ball and still makes the layup. This play right here exemplifies why it is so important for Bam Adebayo to continue shooting and making these 10 to 15 foot mid range jump shots. The Heat run a pick and roll and Giannis Antetokounmpo is in deep drop on the pick and roll coverage. This is, is exactly what the Bucks did last season in the playoffs against the Heat with Brooke Lopez. Lopez would drop very deeply on the pick and rolls and Adebayo being the very hesitant mid range shooter that he was would not put any pressure on that Bucks defense. If Adebayo can continue making those 10 to 15 foot jump shots off the pick and rolls, then that would just put so much pressure on the Bucks defense. It would open up a lot of avenues for the Heat's offense to take against that deep drop, and it would force Mike Budenholzer and that Bucks coaching staff to make adjustments. This is perhaps my favorite Bam Adebayo transition play from last night. He rips the ball free from Giannis and takes it coast to coast and finishes with the beautiful Eurostep layup over Grayson Allen. Last clip of the day and Giannis once again is in deep drop on the pick and roll and Bam simply just plants himself around the 11 foot area and shoots his floater. He showed great touch on this and it's a shot that he'll continue to make over the course of this season. That's it for today's video guys, thank you so much for watching, I just want to make a quick short video on Bam's performance from last night. Let me know in the comments down below if you would like to see more Miami Heat related player breakdowns in the future. I love breaking down basketball film, it's probably my favorite thing to do, so I would love to make content like that for you guys. Like always, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on that post notification bell so you do not miss a single video, and I will catch you later, peace.